My name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to create a freebie sign up form in Wix. One of the really good things that you can do for your website is to have a freebie sign up form. And what I mean by this is that you're going to have a form on your website where people can subscribe to your newsletter and you're giving them an incentive to sign up because it comes with a freebie. So when people fill out the form, your website is going to automatically send them a free gift. This way you're building up your own audience with your own mailing list. So when you have events or new products or anything like that, you can send them an email. And the freebie can be anything that just makes sense for your website. So Leanne has an artist website. So for her website, we're going to do a free coloring page. Leanne sent me this PDF of an eight and a half by 11 coloring page, and it's adorable. And in case you want to do this yourself, you'll want it to be 300 DPI and eight and a half by 11. And that way it's a perfect size for people to print at home. So to start, I'm on Leanne's dashboard here, and I'm going to go to Edit Site. And then I'm going to find the form that I want her freebie to be connected with. So if we scroll down, we have the sign up for updates here. And we can just change this to say, snag your free gift. And then I'll add a little paragraph here that says what it is. So I'm going to go to add elements. And I'll add this little paragraph here. Here I wrote sign up for my mailing list and I'll send you a free coloring page. Just fill out the info below and check your inbox for your free gift. And then the other thing we want to do is click on the form itself. Then I'm going to go to form settings. And over here, I'm going to go down to settings. And the name of this form, we have it called subscribe form. I'm just going to make it a little more specific and I'm going to call it subscribe form with freebie. And that way we know that this is the one that we want the freebie to be attached to. Also, to make sure that you are capturing the submissions that come through the form, if you have a button here that says Create Submissions Table, then you'll want to click on that. And that way you'll be able to find your submissions later. Now we're going to go to the website dashboard. So I'm going to go up to the left hand corner and click Wix. And now we're going to go down to Automations. And by the way, Leanne has the free account and we're setting up this automation for her. So the automation is available for any Wix account, including free ones, which I was really impressed with. So under automations, we're going to click new automation up here in the upper right. And we're going to do start from scratch. And let's name the automation. So I'm going to name it freebie thank you email. And down here, I'm going to choose an app and a trigger. So my app that I'm going to choose is going to be the Wix Forms. And my trigger is going to be Form Submitted. And under here, it says select which forms trigger this automation. So I'm going to pick a specific form. And I'll click Select. And then I'm going to pick subscribe form with freebie. And I'll click OK. Down here for limit the frequency, you could limit it to once per contact because they really only need to download at one time. And now we're going to scroll down here to your action. So our action is we're going to send an email because we're going to be sending a thank you email. And then down here for sender details, we can definitely change this because this is like very generic where the email that the user is getting is just going to be from no reply. But we want the user to be able to reply to Leanne. So I'll click edit. 
And for the sender's name, let's say Leanne Nips. And for the email, I'm going to put Leanne's email in here. And then we'll click Save. And then you can just check your email to get the code to enter in here. Now we have the email set and we're going to go down here and where it says create an email, we're going to do edit. And for the subject line, I'm going to click edit up here and I'll say, here's your free gift from Dark Edge Art. And I can also set the little preview text line. Otherwise, it'll pull in text from the email. So I will add some text here and I'll click save. And then down here, I'll make this say, thank you for subscribing. And since emails come up in your email inbox and they're not hosted on the website, you can't have all of those custom fonts like you can in a website. So just keep that in mind. We won't really be able to make this look amazing like with Leanne's fonts and stuff. So we basically just have these very basic options. I changed the paragraph text to say, stay tuned for updates on events, book releases, and new projects. Here's your free gift. And this image, I may as well just change it to be one of her cute little artwork images. So I'm going to click change image. I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to cut out the background. So I'll just click auto cut out. And save and add to page and I'll go to design and let's just make this smaller because that's real big. I can adjust the padding down here. You can do any of this other styling stuff and I'll just click apply. And now here's where the actual freebie comes in. I'm going to click right here where it says add a button and the button text is going to say download freebie. And for what does it connect to, we're going to pick document and I'll click choose file. And then I'm going to click upload media, upload from computer, and I'm going to pick that freebie.pdf, the coloring page, and I'll click open and add to page. And then we can go to design and we can change the design of the button here so for the fill color i definitely think it should be red and let's give the button rounded edges and i feel like the font should be something bolder and i think i'll take out the border on the button and now i'm going to click apply and also if we want to move any of these around i can just click on the specific section and i can move this up or down and I think I'll also just make the title here red as well, just to kind of match with the button. So I'm going to click on text color and I'll pick a red here. And now the email is done. So I'll click save and continue. And now we're going to pick a category for this email that's being sent. So I'm going to pick promotional and I'll just pick announcements. And for the recipients, we want that to be the trigger contact, which is the person who filled out this form. So we want it to go to them. And then I'll click activate. And now it says our automation is active. So let's go ahead and go to the website and test it. So I'm going to go to darkedgeart.com. And as you can see, this still says sign up for updates. So we need to go back to the website. And we're going to click publish. And that way our new changes will show up. And now I can go back here and refresh. And here's our updated form. It says snag your free gift. So I'm going to fill out my info here. And here is my email from Leanne. And I can click on download freebie. And here's my PDF. And then to view all of your form submissions, you can go to your Wix dashboard and you'll go to customers and leads and then forms and submissions. And you can click old forms and find subscribe form with freebie. 
and then you can click view submissions table and here is my info that I just submitted to the form so as you get more and more people filling it out then this will all fill out right here I hope this was helpful if you're creating your own website in Wix, join my creativity club and you can share your project there. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, or as always, you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.